Funk Flex, Tyler, the creator's here. So we're going to uh, first begin this in how this transpired. Uh, John Straza gave me a buzz. Who the fuck? Oh, the nigga, I met you like 13 minutes ago. Okay, uh, I know. Was it, no, did you really? Yeah, so we met like sort of, kind of like three weeks ago. I don't remember. Okay, And then okay. we just re-met 14 minutes ago. Well, Straza for me is, as a person who I uh, respect, you know, there's not just there's, he's one of the people in the game I respect. So when he when he reached and he said, uh, uh, Tyler wants to come through. Let me also warn you, New York. I've spent 20 minutes with Tyler, the creator. He's already disarmed the room. He's he's he's, he's already he. I, I know how you, I know how I know how this guy moves. Don't, don't paint a photo. No, 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 no. I, I understand how to, I, I I so understand how this guy's making so much money. I didn't come with lyrics. No, no. See, we we didn't even talk about that yet. We didn't even talk about that yet. We didn't even talk about that. Yes, let's let's backtrack. So, Straza calls me. He says, um, Tyler would like to come through, and. Uh, I I asked to speak to you. We talked on the phone. We talked. We I was I was fresh off a jet ski at a, at a lake house. And and I felt you know, um, I've known of you for a long time, but I felt like we haven't had dialogue. I've never spoken to you in my life. Correct. And I'm I'm gonna break the ice with something and say, I probably over the years. When when did you drop your first project? Uh, May 2011. I uh, as a famous person. Okay, I probably haven't <laughs> been. I probably haven't been uh, supportive of your music since you've dropped. Okay, let's, th no, let's no, 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 no. I'm not gonna. No, you're not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna let you steer eat, the conversation. I don't eat fucking coconut. I'm not about to go out there and promote this shit. If no, no, I no, 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 no. Don't eat it. No, no, no. But there's no hard. No, 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 no. But we're, we're having real talk. We're having real talk. And and uh, and. Probably because things that sort of come on my radar, I'm a nightclub guy. That's hot. I'm a nightclub guy, so I'm 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 really a little bit more. The nightclub records come to me first, and that's usually what I gravitate to. We're having real talk today, my brother. That's hot. So I felt too. I mean, we haven't connected. You've been out for a while. You, we've been in the same business, and we have not connected. Am I am I saying that correct? Yeah, you, we have never hugged. I've never hugged you. Absolutely. So we, we're having real talk today. So. I, I want to tell you something because I thought about it while we were talking about music. I, I did re very much love your selection of the things that you said you grew up listening to, you know, um, which did give me a picture of understanding your music a little better when you told me, like, the Neo Soul, the Pharrells. So I get a little bit more of what you're about in that quick 10 minutes. That's hot. So um, I, I don't remember if it was you or Earl Sweatshirt I might have been Earl Sweatshirt, so I want to be fair. I think the Jay album it came out. Jay Z, Jay Z had an album, and I what? think uh, it was it was definitely one of the more recent ones. Not like not like Hard Knock Life or anything, but it was more of the like in his time period. And I want to say I felt because I, I want to be transparent with you on what my, why my energy might have been a little weak. Hey, I'm an honest man. Uh huh. I'm here. Mm hmm. He's, I'm, I'm gonna call this guy as he do it. He's trying to, dis, you know, listen, he, listen, any he, is, other he is disarming the room when he, everybody does, listen, wait, I gotta, let me give you, a, let me cue you. My brother, I've been feeding rappers bullshit for 25 years. So there is no routine I've never seen. So, I, nigga, hey, hey, look, I'm look, not look, doing anything. Look, 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 wait, wait. You're not hey, even a cop. Wait. Why do I feel like this? <laughs> <laughs> I have not, I don't, wait, I, I, wait, 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 wait. This is ludicrous, bro. It, I don't even. I'm gonna put this guy, he's top 10, clever, top 10. Look! 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 I'm look! Not look! Doing shit, look! Nigga, top. I'm nah, he's top I've been ten. With you for thirty minutes. Nah, I, it don't take me long to read nothing. It doesn't not take me long. Person. See, understand, New York. He's already taken me off of my Jay Z story. You see? You see what? You see what he? He's, he already took me off of my Jay Z story. You see what he did? He's trying to do to me what I do to everybody. He already took me off my Jay Z story. Back to the Jay Z story. So look, <laughs> I'm being accused of some invisible No, 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 shit. no, 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 no. It's I'm not invisible. accusing you. I didn't even no, wait, steal wait, wait, wait. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. You didn't. You didn't. I think it was Earl Sweatshirt, and he said the J album was overrated. Which one? 
It was all right. In in his defense, was it Jay's best album? No, but it had a big week. So I'm we keeping it a thousand in our conversation. Which album? I don't think it was. was like, it was the last one, maybe the one before the last. Well, it was like a recent one in the last four years. Last four years, and it had a big week. And I think I want to be honest with you. I. I took a little offense, and I'm keeping a thousand with you. I'm gonna tell you why. I honestly don't know if that was. Yeah, I don't think it was you. I think it was Earl Sweatshirt. But it, you know, I, I, Odd Future, the group, I put it as you know, a vibe. So, I, it's like when white people say "urban" is the polite way of saying "nigger." No, I, I no, I get it. I get it. Nigga just said it's a vibe, it's, aka that shit is trash. No, 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 no. It's okay. No, no, no. I think you're cool. No, 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 no. Listen, cool. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, wait. Let, uh, listen, we're gonna be honest. I don't think that those it's projects. Are, no, I don't think it's trash. Now, come on, stop, man. Don't do that. I don't it's think it's okay, trash. bro. But I'm being honest with you. I'm being honest with you. What it is for me, as flex, is like I told you, I like the club vibes, right? But I'm gonna tell you, I saw Earl Sweatshirt perform at Madison Square Garden, and I don't remember. Uh, uh, it, it was recently. I want to be honest. I went in there. I was playing that night too. Bef after him, after he performed, I wanted to front on him. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wanted to. I was like, I'm gonna see what this is. So I come in, and he's really working this crowd. And then uh, I was impressed by his performance because that was the first time I saw him perform, and I enjoyed it. I did not know the songs, but what I did see is I did pay attention to the crowd's reaction to his music and to how he was controlling the crowd. So I enjoyed it. That's hot. So that, like, there's one thing about me, my brother. If I see something, I never front on it. You know, maybe something may not make me lean in the car, but if I see something and see people's reaction, so that's all to say. Um, I, I, I'm glad we got together. I did feel like we there was. You can't tell me there wasn't. There was something. We was not linking for some reason. You were selling records. I don't. I was fuck doing what I was with doing. Nobody, man. No, I, well, I just don't be fucking with people. I didn't look at it like that. And I not didn't. in a bad way. Not in a, anything against. I be in my own little world. I do my own little thing. Yes. And I just don't be fucking. I have two rap friends. Well, Rocky and Schoolboy Q. Okay. All right. Other all than right, that, I, like I do Q. not hang. I don't like hanging with rappers. I don't like hanging with musicians. Mm -hmm. And it's nothing bad. It's just that I don't. The shit I'm into in my extracurricular does not include what most are into. So I just do my own thing. I, no, totally, I totally understood. It's nothing. But I just don't be in the world like but, that. But what I want to do is. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't disrespect you, and just bring you and say, "Okay, let's do this," and let you walk out the door. I would rather us build a vibe and talk. And vibe doesn't mean it's trash, bro. Stop. <laughs> it's all context how you use. Stuff. Yeah, no, not at all. And um, I was like, you know what? I, when I spoke to you, I enjoyed our conversation, and I, you were gonna. I wanted you to. You were gonna come regardless. I just wanted to f feel your energy. On how you felt, and I no, was, I liked you. I, caught me, and we we talked. I was dripping wet. We, we, I just we, got out the water. We chatted for a while. We talked for like twelve minutes. And in meeting you, because you've always been a person I've seen online. In meeting you, I I am seeing how you uh, disarm rooms operate, which I respect. You know why? Because this music business is full of fucking bullshit. trash and niggas with Wait. low self-esteem absolutely and i'm so on your page it's just everyone trash and they try to impress other niggas and it's like not that serious absolutely and it's like so in saying you see why i don't hang out with these people well i'm gonna get now i'm gonna keep it ten thousand with you there's not many rappers i like when i say rappers i'm sorry people in the music business um because they are fake and they are phony and um they want to portray something to you to get the most out of you. And in the entertainment on the music side also, people try to, I don't want to say scare you, but they try to treat you in a certain way to make you operate in a certain way for what they might do for you later. And I am a person who's like, a, you know, fuck you. I don't care what you're going to do for me later. If I work hard, get up every day at 9 a.m., I don't really need... Uh, help or yeah to walk I don't through. need your hand yeah, like, your, your, your I have hand feet out. so I could walk over there I full I yes. I fully agree and I respect the fact that I never hear many people in in your position 
even scratch the hair, like mention that. No, it's just that it, it, it's the only. It, listen, I'm gonna keep it ten thousand with you. I'm also a guy, and I could say it. I've never took a penny to play music, and if anybody, anybody feels any different, they can always say it. And I'm gonna tell you. Oh, fuck! I hope y'all dropped the bomb right there. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> you see this guy trying to disarm me up here. Not. You know, he, he, it was just the. You see him? You trying to disarm me? The timing was so perfect for a bomb right there. And if, cause you got serious, you stopped looking at me saying, "If anybody." Uh, this, uh, he's like, recapping me. He just recapped me. Wow. Nigga, you did it 18 seconds ago. Everyone saw. It's Everyone not that saw crazy. It? Okay. So in saying that, look, you just said something I want to say. So I don't take any money to play music. Reason being, I want to always be able to tell a label, a manager, and a rapper, fuck you. I don't have to pick up your phone call. I don't got to take your fucking bread. I don't need shit from you, and your record is trash. I live. Nigga, I just saw that live. But, he just did that in front of me, bro. What the fuck? Wow. You saw that? Wow, that this guy. Like his lip did the, the snarl. The, the you know what I'm built for him, though, right? I'm built, I give, yo, I'm built for him. Bro, that, that was crazy. Yo, do not bring Tyler up to your show. You're not built for him. You're not built for him. He did it in like you. Because he's working me. I'm working hard today. I'm working hard listening to every word, trying to balance and dance like and everything. This is this guy's work. So so we now met. What now you've been 2011, he's 2019. Took us eight years. Is it eight years? Yeah. Took us eight years, but wait. Nice meeting you, sir. Let's hug? Let's hug. You're absolutely right. This is my guy now. All right. I like him. Yes, yes. We're we're guys. So We've been listening to beats. Shout out to Buddha the Future. We were listening to some tracks. DJ Juanito's on the set. So I'm thinking, throw a little instrumental on and. Uh... Yeah, I don't have anything prepared. I don't believe you. I look, look. <laughs> How about that? Look. I don't have many random songs with verses that's not out that I'm gonna say right here, and then you'll hear it like mm -hmm. two months later. I don't, and I've been looking. I don't. Ha I I don't. I seen you rhyme somewhere before though. Bro. I can I rap, seen, nigga. Yeah, I know yeah. how to rap. I, no, I mean, but you, like, you better than just rapping. I seen you spit. Look, look, look. look. I have you like not prepared for. You gotta I have, hit him. I have like he's not prepared for. I have like six bars mm -hmm. that I kind of thought of on the way here, mm -hmm. and I tried it out on my on my friend Coops and, and my bodyguard, and they mm -hmm. they liked it. <laughs> they thought it was good. They thought it was good. They thought it was good. Let me tell you something, New York. If what, when did we speak on the phone? We spoke what? Uh, it was a week. Two week? Week? We two weeks? Ago. Just as you know, Black Thought did me the same way as this guy's doing me. I called Black Didn't Thought. Black Thought rap for like eight weeks and shit I, on yeah. camera. <laughs> like nigga, fuck, niggas got my pizza is burning, nigga. I gotta pick my kid up, bro. Fuck. How many it. kids you got? I don't have to pick. I just mean like I mean, this. Oh, you don't. Kept, so you don't have any children. Kept okay, I know the ring. You're married. And Nick, no, nigga. So I broke this hand, and I got this ring made for this hand. But this hand like changes size and stuff. It was some days, whatever. So it got stuck one day. So I just. Uh, so you put it on the other finger. But who also made the dumbass rule if you put a ring on this finger? Well, it it's been existing before we were born. And it's been existing. Okay. Wait, wait. So, so you're not married. You're not married. No, ugh, marriage is fucking dumb. Marriage right. is fucking so Wait, wait, dumb. I'm gonna give you a pound, but I just don't let anybody see it. Bro. Okay, cool, cool. You talking, you you literally- I'm divorced, I'm divorced. A million people and you're like, oh, I want that pussy for 50 fucking years. <laughs> you guys are dumb. Like actually fucking dumb. Then you gonna waste all this money- Marriage is canceled this year. <laughs> then you go and inconvenience your friends to drive to the middle of fucking nowhere and have to stress to get a suit and gifts because y'all like each other a lot. Not, fuck you. Yeah. I fuck they you might get married. divorced in two years. And then they gonna get. Then it's gonna be messy. Like, like you like each other so much that you want to get the government involved. <laughs> you fucking idiot. You're and dumb. Two lawyers. Well, you're young. And you then, got time. You and got then time. like. Oh, like like when people be like, we've been married for 20 years, and people are like, Con congrats. I'm like, that's so sad you've missed out on life. <laughs> he says he, he really 20 was, years and really you didn't to, fuck he, someone he, else? He, he Everyone missed out cheat. on pussy. Everyone should cheat. 
I think couples should cheat. Okay, cheat listen, week. bruh. Maria. <laughs> Everyone should have a cheat. Maria, week. I just met this nigga today. I don't want you to think we're hanging out tonight. Everyone should have wow. a Wow. Wait. Man, we gotta, yo, you got we gotta have signs before you like, yo, I'm getting ready to, I'm getting ready to jump off the Look, bridge. Like, like, you don't have to come with me. Maria, no, I like under- nine years later. And Maria, you're, he's young. You're talking the to the young guy. He's living life. You're hearing that. He's, he's doing tours. Listen, I'm coming look, home tonight. Thanks, look, you listen to the same perspective, the same idea, like every fucking night. Like it has to get old at some point. Uh, well, like at let some me point. Clear, let me. So look, y'all spend a week. Y'all spend a week. You go out and fuck whoever your girl, whatever the fuck you went to. Go mm-hmm, out and fuck mm, whatever. This is a right? bad story. Right? Start up. Go right, and then y'all come back next week. Mm. Y'all got new shit to talk about, right? New shit, finally, new shit to talk about. Two, she get dicked down crazy by some other weird nigga, bro. Weird. She gonna be waking up that morning making the kids breakfast you didn't even know she could do. She gonna be in such a good mood. Well, so it's gonna change the household. And then she, three, then three, you gonna be like, yo, this girl, all right, she, hold on. I, she, I, she sucked my toes. I know we ain't never did it, but like, now y'all got new shit to try in the bedroom. Well, well, hold on. And now y'all together for longer. He needs Why? a podcast. This guy needs a podcast. I know. Look, Wait, let me ask you a question. Let me, here, the marriage thing you just said. Uh, you, how, how old are you? Young? 28. 28, okay. So, you've never been married, right? No. Okay, all right. Now, see, and this also, I'm an idiot. No, 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 no. In the marriage game, in the marriage game, this is what happens. I mean, for some of us, I'm not speaking for everybody, but you have one and it, it works out for you. You, you kind of do it to the best of your ability. And now, then you have, then you, now, now I have a girlfriend, an amazing girlfriend. But you know what marriage teaches you, what you're going to learn, maybe, if you get married? Marriage, you are, uh, the woman that gets the guy after a marriage those when two people link up you kind of worked out a little bit of your kinks and all the bad stuff that you kind of did and all mm-hmm. the stuff so it usually works it's more refined yeah, yeah uh, trained you're trained on both sides no there's training in this you're not married so you haven't seen that yet there is training women train men train it's it's it, that's what it is but you know uh i commend you on being young and being able to smash everything you can smash that's great tight it's marriage is fucking a scam like college and now I need the answer to that one. Tell me why. Jaden, do not listen. <laughs> you are going off to school September regardless. You know what but the I fuck listen. you want to do? I feel like college is for, okay, and unless you're being like a fucking marine biologist or some very mm. specific, a lawyer, mm. niggas be going there, wasting fucking money, wasting time, fucking lost as fuck. Like, and well, then I didn't do well in college. After two years, man, I left. You in fucking debt just because you was fucking lost with thirteen thousand other lost motherfuckers, just so you didn't feel like a loser and you could trick people, making them think that you were doing something with your life. Well, <laughs> changing majors every fucking year. Well, wait, wait, wait. The kids, right, nigga, the, just, kids the kids are tuned in. Get it. Look, get but a let job, me tell you what I think about college and really pursue what the fuck you want to do. Yes, but but I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the purpose of college. Niggas be in debt over some yes, like. Yes, but let me tell you about college. Let me tell you about college. When you when you go to college, right? For me, I dropped out after two years. That's so horny. But wait, I knew I wasn't good at it, and my second year, I knew I was gonna finish four. I I knew personally. It did make me work at my B choice harder because I knew college. I'm not gonna do good in this structure. But see, you knew that's the thing. Like now, that, you so were I, honest. With I like yourself. when people niggas don't be honest with they sell, bro. But you I do knew. like when a person goes like, look, if my my child or my children, are, oh, sometimes I hear kids drop out or they want to go local, they want to do things. I I made French fries, hamburgers, in my college, and I started to do the math, and I was like, the things that I want in life may never happen this way. I'm going to try to pursue this DJ thing as hard. I, I pursued it better. Young. That's I pers- the thing. I pursued young it. niggas wasting it. Like, do it, it now. Go to college when you're 26 and it's but almost I, over. But I pursued it better <laughs> knowing that I had no other option. Yeah. That is, I think, kids, if you have to drop out of school, I don't think it's a failure. I think if you can, if you can't. If you know what the fuck you want to do, do it do and it. stop wasting everybody fucking time and money. Well, you. Including your own. It's a fucking scam. 
But I do wish I went to like a college for a year and like met people and just fucked whoever I wanted to and like oh, I did drugs and got drunk and like <laughs> no, I'm like not. that would have been fun. But <laughs> but I think everyone should have those experiences. I didn't have those experiences, but again, I lived a life at 19 that most no one lives. So hmm. I got to experience cool shit. But college will be cool for that for a year and then once the bills stack up because you come from a poverty stricken area and you want to fucking trick yourself into doing something so you don't be like the losers in your fucking family then i'm gonna tell you Tom, but you know did that was that too my, deep i'm gonna Coops, tell you Coops walked I guess, no i can speak for my own kids Tom. i'm gonna tell you something i'm gonna let i'm gonna pay for three years and she has to pay for her last you know why it's hot i feel that as a young adult you should come out with a small debt and getting used to paying back money per month. Not a large sum, mm -hmm. but I think, uh, I, I, do, I, do, I do like that. I think that, you know, come out, and if you gotta pay a little three, 400 a month, you know, yeah. it be, it, I need an incentive for a young adult to want to work. Yeah, you know, I, I had a job at 15 oh, though. My mom wasn't playing that shit. Wait, what's your name? Were you born and raised? I was born in uh, Los Angeles. I grew up in Hawthorne, California. And are, are, My are mom you, moved to Sacramento. I never had are, a father. Are your parents uh, grew up in in America as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. My, right. uh, and in L.A.? Yeah, and then... Uh, my mom moved to Sacramento when I was 16. I stayed in L.A. with my grandmother. She lived in uh, Inglewood, the edge of Ladera, and shitty apartments. Because mm -hmm. Ladera is a nice area, but we was in like... The, ah, it was gross. And then I was... She was old as shit, so... I kind of was like on my own figuring it out. Mm -hmm. And luckily, before, my mom, it's crazy, parents be knowing their kids. So she knew that I wasn't gonna be a, like a fuck up or anything. So like I had my little job and she showed me how to save money and do little stuff like that and not to get in trouble. So, but I kind of been on my own like since then for the most part. And I think it's just how you raise your kids if, you know, to all parents out there, if they're on the right track, they'll usually figure it out. Well, it's a hard, it's a hard, it's a harder arena now, uh, or different arena, I should say. And I think college is good if you know a hundred percent what you want to do. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of people there that I, are I lost and about, wasting money and wasting time, and then oh, you, know, you got you know, this college, piece of paper and you graduate at twenty four and it's back to your mom's house because you don't know what the fuck you just but wasted you know, for. You know, you know, Tyler, you you a lot of people make some early acquaintances in college. And end up doing business together, or end up opening companies yeah. together. Yeah, like that. That that's really the push. You know, why I was pushing my door to mm -hmm. to get to a good school with a variety of people. Of people. And look, I'm down. I'm you always know? an advocate for meeting new people, trying new shit. Woo -woo -woo. That's what I I, I like with that more than intent. Like high school didn't do nothing for me. What high school did for me is. Made people, made, it's so crazy when you graduate high school, you realize, oh, I was stressing over this paper and it didn't mean shit. High school, I did, I, uh, I, the, the, what I learned in the books is not learning how to navigate people or navigate with people yeah, of all different colors it's is what I learned social. from from, from That's from, literally just how to school. talk to fucking people. You told me, we, when I, uh, we were listening to some beats back there and I had asked um, Tyler, some of the artists, he he uh he grew up on, and I know you said um you like the neo soul movement, and uh, and we, and we talked like six seven five year old. You and, and and so then and what were some of those artists? Uh, so what? It's five. It's ninety six. Baduism, D'Angelo's first album, Rochelle Pharrell, mm. um, crazy vocalist. If you guys don't know who that is, um, Hiroshima, mm. Alex Gunya, um, fucking Brandy. Faith, mm. Mary J, Jeanne, Changing Faces. Oh, you said Jeanne. <laughs> you said Jeanne. Jeanne's one of, that and first album's one faces. of my, that Great album, album. That album is the base of how I produce. A great album that doesn't get mentioned. Shout out KG. I'm going to tell you something. Really talented producer. Top five. Coffee Brown's first album was also great. He did Next first album. Um, Coffee Brown was dope very too. Very talented producer. People should look KG up. I feel like he's never mentioned. KG is an amazing producer. Uh, he was on to something. Like he's doing a rap shit, and then he was like, "I'm gonna do R and B." But may ah, uh, one of the first to do that. Too. It had a it, it 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 was see because most guys were just sampling some hip hop shit and putting singing over it. Yeah, but he was really the kick and snare had the had the out. oomph. 
But then the the music still had the 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 soft. No, no, yeah, and that R and B. That's the base of my fucking production. Like that, like what he was doing is he doesn't get mentioned enough, and I mm. hope. I hope that he album had that album had like five. Like, that album had like five, six records on it. That were big singles. That first. No, yeah, it had album. it had four. It had four. I tell you deeper. It was vibes. It would. I tell you deeper. If you remember the record, on the single, the single was on another label. Hey, the, Mr. DJ. The, yeah, and somewhere the deal got a little messy, and I think then KG got it over to Motown, and that late was it Motown. I don't know, Strauss. I don't know if I'm saying my labels right. I feel like it was Motown or it was, was Epic. It was early, Epic. early was it was it early Epic, and then this. But that Dumba. that single it was, was from some place. He was on a dead label that had no shit out here. So for those records to break through was a uh, amazing thing. So then, okay, so that was it, like that. So when when you when you start to like hip hop, where did you go after that? Uh, so the first. <clears throat> First rap album I remember getting, uh, my aunt got me Black Eyed Peas Behind the Front album, and I really liked it because the very first Black Eyed Peas Behind the Front, the very first one, it might be nineties, in the ninety seven, ninety eight. Uh, Will I Am mixed. Uh, he had a love for jazz and Brazilian and like stuff like that, but was rapping over it, so it was a good mixture of, again, hard drums and raps, but it had really pretty music under it. And I wrote my first raps too. Number 16 on the album is a song called Positivity. Mm. And at the end, it's this like weird hybrid uh, bossa nova instrumental. Mm. And I wrote my first raps to that instrumental. They had a super cult following on that first album. Like really cult, yeah. really like, uh, and because they were into the break dancing and the elements yeah, they were of, some, like, <clears throat> they, they went to the elements of hip hop. Not just the, like the rapping, the DJing, the graffiti, the, the breaking, it was like, uh, they were um I was I was surprised when they blew up so big on the on the other side because of, of what they came from. But um they were they were an underrated group. They they could have easily have went away. And they kept they Not kept yet. pushing. They, they figured it out. The humblest guys when they when they when they were selling Quadnanga million from <laughs> even the come even a fire word. Even, even the time when they were selling nothing, those guys never changed from place to place. And sometimes, because I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this time to apologize because you brought up the, the Black Eyed Peas. I was their hardest critic when they were in that smaller stage, mm -hmm. and I didn't play a lot of their music. Mm -hmm. But anywhere I would see them, man, they were nothing but polite to me. They never asked me to play. They were nothing but polite. Shout out to those guys, man. The humblest guys. I, I, one of the humblest groups I ever met. Those guys. That's so horny. <laughs> why do you say... Why, <laughs> why do you say horny? What, why would you pick that word? Now, am I supposed to say pause? If you want. But it We was, should pause it, right? I, I no, felt, no, that wasn't pause. You it don't was, feel it like it? Nothing, it wasn't a gay undertone with that. Okay. What you said I thought was cool. I okay. thought it was great. It was a rousing. <laughs> yeah, wow. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm not even going to. You're not even, fun. I thought you were a piece of shit. <laughs> I honestly thought you were an asshole. And I actually like I you. See, I told you this nigga wasn't fucking with me. I told you, I told you now, but you like you now. You no, hung out no, with me. No, no, see, he okay. proved the point. He wasn't fucking with you. You see, look at him, America. He was not fucking with me. Look, 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 look at him. He wasn't fucking with me. Look at, look, 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 look at, jeez, he wasn't fucking with me. See, and listen, respectfully so, you know why? Look. A lot of people feel that way about you. I'm I keeping thought, a thousand with you. I thought you were like the super like. Keep it real hip hop nigga. This nigga's uh, gonna have Jay Z playing in the fucking background. Oh, He's gonna oh, want bars. Listen, He's listen. fucking guy. Back. Fuck flex. <laughs> Back to what I was saying before the cameras went on. I was in New York. <laughs> I, and look, I'm, I'm, I'm friends with both of these guys. I don't pick sides. Oh shit! I think, shit. <laughs> I think the whole thing is stupid. But whatever. Okay. I was in New York when um, 
I was at the studio, mm -hmm. and it was me, my friend Dev Hines, mm -hmm. I think Ferg was with me, two, two other people, I can't remember. We was in a studio in New York, and I don't know how, but I went to hot97.com. Okay, okay. I went to this streaming little thing, and I pressed play, and you were live. Okay, okay. You were live. Being a dick. With the dick. new Pusha T, Drake diss. The hot record. And I, hot record, hot you, record. Kept re you kept stopping it and dropping the bombs, and I was so used to hearing uh, recordings of that type of stuff. I work every day. Years ago. I'm up there every day. Like I never, and I heard it live, and I was in New York, and it was one of the craziest things. You saw how I stopped the city. To be right there. What's happening? It was so crazy to me. Like that, like hearing the bombs I have a passion in real fucking time I have a passion was so mind-blowing to me. I, had, I, had a, I have a passion for it, my brother. Story did not go anywhere, but yeah. I just wanted to let I you I mean, know. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna chime in and ask you something because you, you brought up a situation. Now I'm gonna ask, and I know you're cool with both of those guys. Um, how did you feel about the battle? When were you were you were you paying attention to the Listen, songs that were being released? This ain't picking sides. Look, look, look! His whole his whole thing look, changed. Push it, him. Push it. No, he. He my stopped looking rapper. at me. He stopped listen, looking at me. Cause nigga, he stopped listen, looking at me. It's message boards. Who's gonna be like? And then it's gonna. And you know how people, people respect are. your opinion, my people, people will make this a headline on something, and then it'll be and niggas ego. Like I don't know how, but I so I'm always like care careful with little shit like that. I mean, yes, but, but, but so, you, you intro it. You intro it, Drake. is my favorite, is like my favorite rapper. I love okay, that. Then you answered it. I, I think Drake is such a fucking important figure in me okay. and one of the best pop writers okay. ever to me. Like, niggas out of all right, this all right. world. Started from the bottom is one of the greatest pop songs ever written. Yo, this guy just said pop. I don't even you want me like, to check? I don't even want to break it down why, but. Like, I, Yo, Drake, I agree. Right? I'm going to go with you on this. So, hey, Drake, man, listen, you listen to me, bro? So, whatever. And, and, <laughs> wait, wait, and, I, I want to co-sign you. Hold on, hold on. Let me, me co-sign him. Let me co-sign you. And niggas know Pusha could rap one of the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But niggas, Drake, because I'm Drake is you, pop, because Drake be making pop songs and shit, niggas never want to be like, nah. he, that nigga could rap. Like, nah, nah, nah. that nigga could rap. Listen, like, Drake I, you just, listen, I want to I want to go with you. Listen, I agree with you. He's one of the best well, pop songwriters ever. I'm with you on that. When I heard Drake did the shit the song out, <laughs> I was in LA in the valley going to my mom's house. And I was like, oh shit. It's, f oh fuck. I was like, oh, Drake came disrespectful. Whatever, I, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I love Drake's return fire. I like, yeah. And then two tough. days later, I'm out here, bro. Yeah, lights off. And you fucking dropped the, and I was like, this is disrespectful. <laughs> and I like that type of shit because Eminem was my favorite rapper. I was 10, 11 when it was the Benzino was, and the Ja Rule and the Cannabis and the mm, Everlast and the Limp Biscuit shit. Like, I was, I was Limp that Biscuit, kid. Like, wow, I forgot. I was deep into that shit. I learned how to rap. I'm a big Fred shit. Durst fan. So, what the, y'all got the same beard. I get it. <laughs> He really wanted to say what the fuck you talking about, right? About Fred Durst, right? I am a Fred Durst fan. I like, no, I like, look, I like I was Fred nine Durst. When I bought the Chocolate Starfish Hot Dog Flavor Water album, number I liked eight, it. the one, my favorite song by them. You know what Fred Durst wasn't afraid to? Uh, listen, it's some, believe it or not, it's something I respect about you as well. You're not afraid to be yourself, and. A lot of artists haven't learned in this game that you will go further being yourself than being what you think is in the moment. Yeah, and then that's when you get stuck and exactly niggas is gross. Yeah, and you see it all the time. Uh, let me tell you something, my brother. I have seen quite a few gimmick rappers. Oh, you've probably seen the worst of the bundle. Like, oh, well, you God. know what? You know what? You know, no, you know what disappoints me sometimes. A gimmick rapper that I really know has talent, but what goes that I avenue have. knowing that they have the talent. Like because I remember when they came up on their mixtape, and they trade it for the instant fame, mm -hmm. I can't go back. That shit don't last. I'm always in it for the long run. I respect people who's in it for the long run and who make what they like. Like mm. who? Okay. You Can I ask you like a question? It. Tell me again how you couldn't stand me. Okay, listen. Look, look, look. 
<laughs> I caught him off guard, right? Okay. Look, 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 look. Tell me how. Listen. Tell me how much you couldn't stand me. I'm the dick. Now you're switching narratives <laughs> and implying <laughs> something that I never implied. Oh, oh, okay. okay. I never stated I didn't never stand I you or nothing. Shit. I just thought, and I didn't think, I didn't think you were a piece of shit. <laughs> I thought you would be. He looked be. me right in my eyes you know, when he said I that. that. He, he looked me right in my eyes, Straz, when he said he's a piece of shit. It's New York. It's hip hop. Blah, blah, blah. No, I don't hug my niggas. That's gay. Like, I thought you was one of, one of those niggas. I thought, but you're like a really. Mm -hmm. Like, I would, Careful. I would hang Careful. out with you. <laughs> like, hey, Flex, I'm going to go play. Uh, I would hang out with this prick. He's not a prick, fella. He's gonna go back over here, yeah, fellas. He's not. He's not. He's not a piece of shit. You're not a dick. I thought you mm. were gonna be the fucking worst. Like <laughs> it's on his face. But you actually aren't. It's kind of crazy. Uh, let me tell you something. I love music. I love the game. And hopefully, you know, we can. Uh, we we have a. Don't we have wear a mask. Matter of fact, you know what we're gonna do? When when is he, we at the garden, right? Yeah. What day? I don't know. But. but what, what day is it? September 12th. What when is it? September 12th. September 12th. What day of the week is that? Some, somebody tell me. Okay, who you who you have on that bill? I don't know. Uh, is it Gold, is Gold Link? Mm -hmm. And it's either Blood Orange or Jade. We're going to merge. I don't want no bread. I'm going to come doing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to warm the crowd up that day. Okay. I'm going to come warm the crowd up that day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we're gonna we're gonna merge. We're That's gonna we're so gonna hot. we're gonna merge and we're gonna merge. We're gonna merge. Absolutely. So with that, put that on my calendar. I'm there. I'm gonna tear that place down. Do you like I whoop your head, boy, by uh, Fifty Cent? I like that. I like that. You want that to spin in there? No, I just really like that song, and I was looking at you, and that shit start playing in my head. I don't know why. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> First of all. He's learned the master of disarm. Like, how would you learn that? Bro, Don't lie to me. I you don't learned know it. What you're talking about? <laughs> see, now I'm gonna tell you. See that act. See when he went like this, right? That bought him 20 seconds, <laughs> right? To think, how am I going to come? How am I going to combat this? Right? Throw him further off his guard. I was. You know what? I'm gonna tell you. So most young boys don't have that. Most young guys don't have that. Most young guys do not master the art of. Uh, Navigation, but it's cool. I'm all right. I didn't mean I like, to call I you like on it that. today. The, I didn't mean the to... art of navigation. Oh yeah, no, no. This is guys the art of navigation. So uh, I'm at the con. Is he here two days? How many days is he here? I, I should have added another one, but I didn't. Want one? To. Okay. I'm... The fans out there, it's like add another day. I don't want to. No, I'm there. I'm there. We don't gonna... always need more. Hmm? Sold out. Zoo. All right. You here? You're gonna get to see what I do, and I'm gonna get to see what you do. That's so hot. Fair. That's kind of, that could be taken the wrong way, so kind of pause. <laughs> oh, my God, man. All right, so listen, we still have the beats, right? You're not married, but you're wearing the ring. I understand. It's on the. It's supposed to be on the other hand, right? Okay. The reason why I created the freestyle is for artists. I, I watch every interview from my competitors Mm -hmm. to the people that work in the station with me. And I got tired one day of watching people ask people about who they're fucking, mm -hmm. a mishap that they may have had, mm -hmm. or whatever, whatever. So tell us about that time you got stabbed in your arm at that really small club on Wednesday the 3rd, because I have all the details, but I want you to talk more about it. I want to, <laughs> I want to embarrass you, yeah. and I want to... For ratings. And, <laughs> Because I need this to keep my job. So at your expense, as a human, your <laughs> worth. Now, you, <laughs> you, you, maybe four other people have maybe five that I've done interviews with since I've been doing the freestyles. You might, you might be the fifth or six, something like that. But I got 142 freestyles. You know why? Because artists start to come out every week with music, and I started to share with them. Hey, man. You don't have to go someplace where you're gonna be uncomfortable. You don't have to go someplace where somebody's gonna ask you about what's going on with your baby mama or whatever the fuck else is going on. You can come here, we can do these bars thing. Look, when we did our first freestyle, did it get buku numbers? No, it grew. Mm -hmm. We Until maybe we were 30 in. 
But again, now that's up. what you're known for. And, I, and, and again, I'm, for a new generation, not yeah. being dismissive to anything prior to that, but like now it's 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 a bunch of new kids who only know me from the last album mm. and their first thing on me is music and this look and then they could go back for more of that and and then that the the funny edgy shit is secondary to them now where some people hey i saw you on ridiculousness mm. i don't know any of your mu like that after a while is not tight that what you want that what you want to <laughs> yeah, be yeah and i'm like oh this is you said something gross. key <laughs> And I, I, I tell I, I what you just said about you're as good as your last album. I'm as good as my last party I played, and I have been on that concept for the last twenty years. I'm as good as the last party. I'm as good as the last freestyle I dropped. I'm as good as the last time I was on the radio, which was mm. fucking Saturday. That's it. And you know, not that you have to adapt to the youth about what they're into because part of that is because yes their time span is shorter you just gotta be aware but you seem very aware <laughs> and, and but you see youtube the digital space has created a lot of bozos as well mm -hmm. so with the bozos that come along they get it too quick and they don't maintain it and, and grow it i knew if i was gonna my first look into that youtube space was freestyles and we're gonna we're gonna take all these talented artists, and we're gonna let them have some bars, and you guys decide. It's you know people want to make their own decision, and I think that you know for the thirty second, sixty second clip, there's a lot of radio personalities that have sold their soul to be popular, and and a quick popular, and then they're gone. Where what the game is, the game took an interesting turn in the last three years. It got back to the music. The last three years, it really got back to the music. Like, the tours have been doing so much better. People want to speak to the artists. And artists have gotten better at expressing themselves in their own social media. You know, I love when an artist, even if it's me and I said something to him and he answers me on his social media or he or she, I love that people take that into their own hands and their own control and not get baited by an interview for clicks. That's definitely what it's for. It's you for said clicks. something that I, uh, you said uh, they get the quick little thing, ah, and then it dies. I always say that about, I see it happen to a lot of artists. I see it happen to clothes, bit, all of it. And I've always bring up the, uh, the Von Dutch, Ed Hardy thing, <laughs> <laughs> especially with like clothes eyes. Cause I'm in the clothes world and it's just crazy. Like you hottest, like you were the baddest bitch for a night <laughs> and it's gone because people chase that like oh people like this let's make five million mm -hmm. and it's like no just make that and then move the fuck on and again you that's how good. people get stuck <laughs> and they never some niggas make the same album three times mm. and, and, and I'm gonna keep to my word on something I'm gonna listen to your album tonight and I'm gonna pick one off of that I really like and we're gonna go from there. New, we, hot. we started. We started That's a new hot. relationship today. I right? like you. I don't even have to rap anymore. <laughs> I'm still gonna rap. I don't have a verse ready though, guys. I want everyone watching this to know. Okay, you want? You want me get? Want me, let's at, get. Hey, I'm. I'm just. He. he he thinks I don't recognize the similarities in him that I have in myself. So uh, that's how I like to set up a club when I'm playing. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not gonna do too much in here tonight. Okay, you Look, ready? Let's get it. Nigga. Let's get it going. I am. I don't have a random verses from songs you guys have not heard that I'm about to lay on this shit. I will like say. What, what, what I don't like here for the niggas concert? expecting anything. What, what, I don't know what I'm about to what, say. What day is he here for? What day is that? And it, we, we're gonna we're gonna hang out early that day. We're gonna. What do you do? I like shopping for perfume. And all right, let me see. I like. I'm the corniest motherfucker in the world. You go shop for Tim's. <laughs> I have to say that because I'm from New York. <laughs> I have to fucking say that because I'm from fucking New York. Wait, I swear, I binge watch the ID Network crime stories all day. Oh, binge, that's cool. Binge, he wants to say, what the fuck are you doing, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm breaking in my house. What is that? It's uh, crime stories, murders, people getting killed. Yeah, What's your favorite one? Uh, you know, it's funny you said that. There's one. Before you say that, I... 
It's I, not my favorite. God kills it. his whole family. I, I'm, it's not my favorite. Like, I didn't like anyone dying like that. But, yes. no, but it was the way it transpired. I hope that camera got... When I said, hey, what's your favorite? You you lit up like you were excited to say oh shit I just did that to wanna, him earlier I just think it's Fucking really tight die, man. that like I did that to him earlier right when a I, lot of my friends are geeks about something and I love seeing them like geek out and going to annoying I collect slot I collect shit. slot cars AFX cars that's before that. your time exactly it this is when see you guys get to play the computers it was when a car ran on a track I collect the tracks the cars I collect baseball cards too that's a, see, look, he's looking at me. I collect. That's I, so sick. Wait, I have complete teams since the seventies up until like two thousand and change. I'm, I'm a. Oh. If I wouldn't be, if I hadn't made it on the radio, I would have made it being a baseball player. I was nice in, in college. No, I not college. I was nice in high school, and that's what I wanted to do. But that's just something I collect. What do you collect? That's so sick. It's a little. It's a little weird. That's it's, tight. It's, it's, no, like I didn't know you it's had good. you could like outside of this, you like looking at baseball cards. Or soccer, oh, when I go, and you like you you have a show. Oh, Tyler, when it's I like, oh, it's new episodes next week, and it brings you joy. Oh, that is so funny. Tyler, sick. when I leave the radio station, my brother, I'm like it stops there before I fucking pull off. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm in whatever I'm gonna do. Like go home, internet surf. You go to different cities. Do you? Indulge in any of those hobbies? Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, I used find a to baseball or antique store that. Might have um, or the like, big, the big collectors. Yeah, like I, like I pay attention to. I collect old school muscle cars too. So, like, I'll like kind of like old cars. Yeah, uh, like actually to you, you it's it. gonna be old. No, 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 no. 60s, no. I 70s. Cars, I'm in the cars heavy, but uh, I'm asking muscle you, cars. You actually, I was never into American cars, okay, like European shit, but like that's so. That's crazy. Oh, 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 muscle cars. I love, I love. Like, what do you, what's your favorite right now? 70 Chevelle, 69 Camaro. I just bought a 69 uh, Plymouth GTX. Uh, I got 65 Impala, That's 63. That's so crazy. I love cars. Oh, oh, so all, all American cars. They hold their, uh, they hold their value. That's tight. I got convertible. Oh, I love it. I got 70. I'm working on that 70. My girl just got a 65 Impala. I'm working on that for. I'm about to buy this. It's an old Fiat. Nah, that's, that's fire. But I'm gonna tell you what they used to use this car for. I'm in a rally direct racing. Do you ever seen th this particular car? You know, it's from a famous rally car. That's red, white, and blue. I haven't seen. I'm I haven't a, seen that version. I'm. A, I'm. A, are you active on your gram? Like you pay yeah. attention. I'm it's gonna easy. send you. You about to slide in my DMs? <laughs> Bunk Flex is sliding in my DMs. <laughs> Please send the emoji first. Uh, I can't. It, anything. I just, I just need that. Just, I won't even tell anyone. I just need to know that when I'm like walking to like the store to get food, I'm just like, I ain't making it. <laughs> <laughs> Like when I have kids and they're like, hey, dad, how are you? I'm like, he's in the end. But I won't tell anyone. It's just a little secret I'll have. There's a, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a Fiat that is a famous rally car. Why that body style is popular. I'm going to send it to you. It's red, white. And I have it in AFX version. And I've been looking for like it uh, for one of those for a minute. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to send it to you. Yeah. Now, he likes that word. I'm going to send that to you. You're going to like it. It's a, it's Who would have thought we would be besties? You, we're besties this now. This is fucking crazy. Me and this nigga are fucking besties. Who? I did not Who wake up this morning. This? No, like, wait, wait. Who would have thought this piece of shit? <laughs> this piece of shit flex would be a bestie. That's what he wants to say. He wants to say. I can't it. wait to go home and say and be like, nigga, Lionel. Lionel's my homie. Like, okay, that's my okay. friend, nigga. Flex is, oh, we have to invite him to my mom's Christmas party. <laughs> Nigga, he cool as shit. And he don't even stink, he cool. Like. <laughs> He's not up here sweaty and musty. Cause that's what I thought he was gonna be. Um, that's so crazy. Like, we gonna break the internet. I. 
We're gonna break this, this in that. Also, the crazy thing about this just turned into a full and nigga, I got here at three. We started talking right what? 3.38. We established a lot. It is 5.07, nigga. The sun is gone. Yeah, it was, and we're going to make sure you get your flight. So um, let me let me, hey. uh, let me keep, I know you got a hey, flight. look at me. Huh? I'm yours. <laughs> I don't have to go anywhere. I don't, I don't. Oh, shit, the flight was just in case, in case I can't stand flex. And he gets on my fucking nerves. I, Yo, we got to get a flight, motherfucker. Get me away from this nigga. We can hang out. I could, I can take you to this. <laughs> when you back in New York? No, oh, well, you're back for the concert. So we already established that. We there. When you, when you, when you. <laughs> bro, who would have thought I would get along with him? Bro, they know me, bro. I don't yeah, fuck yeah, with yeah. no one. Nah, you. Like, we get along. I'm a nice guy. You're not weird. Like, you're not changing your perspective because you're with me. Like, you're you. I I'm keeping a thousand. I respect thousand people you. who are them no matter where the fuck you put them. Yeah, but, but you know what? You just got to be you know, what you're into. You're into it's And you is. are a geek. Well, Like, you are a goop stick dork fuck. And it's so fire. <laughs> like, you collect bait. You have a beard and a Rolex and you collect fucking Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Mine, I, I got the nerdiest shit at the crib. That is so fucking tight. Like, yeah. that is so oh, God, fucking God, tight. Oh, God, me, all of that. All of that. You're tight. Like, all the baseball gloves, all type of shit. All type of nonsense. Josh, you my age bracket. That was what we grew up on. You grew up on, you know, we grew up on but that. But that's no fucking fire. There's no internet. There's no internet. Nigga, I ride bikes in mm. my spare time. I collect bikes. That's the horniest. I, we got to send you, I did I just did a bike collab. Yeah, I got to send you a bike. Uh, I like the, I saw Ferg did with Redline. Yeah, shout out I would Ferg. love to. You know what? I would love to. If you Did your bike collab come out yet? No, it comes out. I can't say the date because this oh. might come out before it, and I don't. Oh, Because I'd like love to give one away. at. If you have a picture of it, I'd love to give one away at my car show. At my, Yo, I have bro, a flex yes. Fest. I'm Love to. So low-key. Where's he at August 17th? So look, where's, where, where, you're on the road? You're on tour? Two thirds where's of, the manager? Two-thirds of the bikes. August 17th. August 17th. You're on the road, right? Probably no, to, no, to home. To home? Look, two thirds of the bikes that I got. I, made. Ama I got something amazing for him. French Montana, Khaled, ASAP Ferg. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Ice T. I'm telling you, everybody's going to be there. Ice T, Eric B and Rock Kim, uh, A Boogie, and everyone else. They're, they're, Niggas. They're, they're, <laughs> we're doing, we're doing, they were doing a, uh, it's a festival. Food fest, car show, everything else. Them come by and just hang out. I don't, you don't got to perform. I'd love for you to come by and hang out and, and see. It's going to be like 10,000 people. They're going to love it. I know that's light for what you bring in, for what no, you bring to the... That's the mic. No. And that's one of my... That beam was hard. That's what is that beam? Beam? That's an 88. I'll tell you. No, that's that? 91, nigga. You are off. Wow, you are a fraud. <laughs> I thought you liked cars. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see that. You bamboozled but see, me. I'm going to tell you something. I bet you don't even understand. I bet you... You understand the essence of what that car is? That's what all the cool drug dealers did in 89, kid. Why not you? you don't even understand. Nigga, I've seen paid and fool before. Ooh. No, but sister, I'm an old nigga. I've seen these on the street. Pause that. Did y'all just hear him moan? He just moaned. He just said, ooh. No one heard that? No one fucking heard that but me. Are you serious? He just said, ooh. Uh, nah, it's just hard, bro. Edit, edit, whatever the I mean, fuck, that computer shit, that... Just start. Did you get this. the car done? Uh, Wait, yeah, I gotta read that. I get you got, you got new engine S fifty four engine in there. Stop playing with me. Uh, um, th yeah, just start. Like when people press play, ooh, and then you it keep, starts. Do you keep you keep anything on the East Coast? No, I don't. I uh, driving you, over any, here seems. You, know, you keep keep. Do oh, no. you have anything you like or anybody that does work for you over here? No, I just do it in L A at home. Okay, I I the you, you, the flex, Let me tell you something. My car shows are legendary. Like where people have an amazing time. Artists don't perform. What I want, what I like people to do is I like for people to. Perform. You used to wear lugs. Yes, 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 yes. Oh yes. shit! So, yeah, not, listen. I've I'm never met wearing. anyone that wore lugs. <laughs> this just dawned on me. I'm sorry for cutting you off. <laughs> Yo, he just brought up the lugs. <laughs> I used to like double XL a lot because I was a big Eminem fan and I was like, fuck the source. And uh, they would have like oh. the shit in there. <laughs> Oh my god. When I was I was The Source was aggressive. I was eleven. I loved Marshall and mm -hmm. he said fuck the source. Uh, yeah. Have you have you, have you do like, you and him vibe? Um, look. 
Because it's the second time you mentioned him, so I'm curious. I love, I, favorite rapper really inspired me. Uh, I don't like his new stuff, and Cars he doesn't smoking, like that. I don't like his new stuff. And he dissed me on his last album. And I remember why? hearing why? Well, why? it. Why did he? Because I keep being vocal about shit that I don't like. Clancy's probably like, fuck, Paul Rosenberg's going to text me or whatever. Uh, I love Paul. Well, I love him. Well, let's make it the right way. You just, his newer material hasn't moved you like his prior his material. That, is that a good way to put it? Yeah. I don't want to go into full explanation. That's a good, that's a good way. Listen, but, I want to be... Uh, my, my brother, I'm going to join in with you on this and keep it a thousand. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it a thousand. I'm going to keep it a thousand. I like you so much. Not in like a let's like mm, way, but like I fuck with you. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I agree. Am I too close to the mic? Uh, uh, listen, Thank you. I agree that um, Eminem's albums are not, uh, don't the new ones don't move me like the older ones. You know, I, I'm, I'm on that page. I'm not more about it moving me. I, fuck it. He put out this album called Relapse that mm -hmm. I like. Weird, blah, blah, blah. But it was him. It was like, this is the aesthetic and what I want to go with. And he went 100% with what he liked on there. Mm -hmm. Also, from a technical, it's, I go deeper. It was Beats, Dre's, never really tried. Like, it was, it's good. I didn't even like it at first. It was fucking sick. Whatever. People trashed it. And... I don't know. This is just from Oh, and he came back afterwards with the he we came gave with the, with the recovery. He gave it what everyone wanted. With the pop hooks and this no, is gonna yeah, sell. Yeah, yeah, I remember. So the shit worked. And that album was dope. And everyone gave high fives. Everyone's like, ah, oh, yeah, fuck. The, the one that didn't the one funny. that didn't get the, the hand clap yeah, was right? a dope album. Right. Yes. So that shit, right? And I didn't I personally didn't like it, but I was like, okay, I see what it was, blah blah blah. So the fans that didn't really like it, ah, you gotta do fucking, I want the old M. I want the Marshall Mathers LPM. I want the old M. Snigger, I, it, and I don't know, but it feels like he read that and was like, damn, you know what? Fuck, let me go back and try to rehash a moment. And when people go back, that is the grossest fucking thing. Move forward. Get what you're into for real. Mm -hmm. Like what I want. If you was a rapper, at right now, I will want to hear about your baseball card collection mm -hmm. in your car. I want to hear about that. I think, That's why four 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 was so tight. Okay, this nigga has had hair on his dick for a while, <laughs> and is making an album very specific about what's really going on in his life, and it's a perspective that no one else could have. So that's what I want to hear. And it's not going to send tell to million. Like, Fuck, it's going to be, but I'm it's going to be right. I'm going to go back to the old shit because that's what they want. Fuck what they want. Give them what you want. I think that, and I don't know if that's what he wants. This is just from a fan perspective. Just look, I could be a fucking idiot. A lot of artists get very nervous when they're not living the same daily life that they were living when they made those great albums, and then they're living yeah. a, da a different daily life, mm -hmm. and they go in the studio, and, and there's a, you know, there's a, there's a. I'm kind of embarrassed to ask you a question, but I should be honest. The reason why I don't know the answer is because I have not given your album a chance with my ears. Mm -hmm. Do you produce everything that you rhyme on? And I and I yeah, and I don't since, know that since day one. Okay, so uh, my albums, except now, for number five on you, my second album, my friend did that. But other than that, now it's Odd all Future, me. did you do all the music? Uh, a few albums. I've like it's a few albums where I did the whole thing, and then it's a few where we collectively like. Produce, but like outside looking in, and because we didn't have a relationship to and act. all the art and all the videos, okay, and all the clothes, like it's not like like I'm do it all. I'm on Photoshop, <laughs> sending the labels my here. This is the cover. I'm at every edit for every video. I'm setting the shit. I'm at coloring. I'm like this isn't this. I do everything. <laughs> When I was outside looking at you, and probably didn't want to ask, but did when you I, got when you walked up, what, what outside? You felt like I didn't want to look at you. No, you just didn't. You kind of didn't look, and I was like, I don't think this nigga see us. <laughs> I was like, and again, I haven't met you, and I'm like, oh, oh, he's about to be a fucking real street. Nah, you know what? You want me, you want me to keep it a thousand? I wasn't sure if it was you. Because what the fuck look like this? No, 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 no. I want to. We're, we're gonna talk because I want to ask. I want to go back to my music question, but I wasn't sure if it was you. What and, nigga in New York and looks like this? No, 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 no. I mean, no. You look regular, my brother. Like this, you, you moving where everybody's moving. Uh, no, uh, 
um, until I can catch your vibe, because I'm, I'm, it's funny you caught that. It's funny you caught that. So, gonna, so now out. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go back to it. And did not look, and it's, it's clearly I, a group of people. Yeah, I, 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 I gave, gave him this. I gave him this. And I was like, because, because, wait, we're having our conversation. But just in case he's on that fuck flex shit, <laughs> right? Just in case you on that fuck flex, let me be on my fuck Tyler first, <laughs> right? Like we we be in a thousand. I was on so you until I can vibe with you, and and usually when people are on the fuck flex, they whole team is on fuck flex. Oh shit! Yeah, so you definitely got it bad over the years. <laughs> Wait, wait. So I, I have an odd future question. Did you get? Did that? Did Wu Tang influence your, that odd future movement at all? Because I felt like it, but no. I wasn't sure if it did. No. What, what? 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 This is no disrespect to those guys, but I hate it when we first came out, and that's what we kept getting compared to, because I I hate when people just look at surface level shit and are cheap with their opinions. Mm. Oh shit! It's nine niggas. That's making rap. Wu Tang. Like, they didn't even really look to see what it is. It's nine niggas. It's Wu Tang. Like, no, it's not. Look at what we're doing. We're on a whole different thing. And no disrespect to those guys. I was. When when did the first Wu Tang album come out? Uh, I, I want to 95. say 94. Sunday's Tribe Called Quest and Nirvana's album, I think. Correct. Right? Good. Very, I was very good two history. Years you have old turning fucking three, bro. I it wasn't. Well, really, the, I'm gonna tell you. You know listening. why you get compared to it, and even now me. Now that I'm older, well, I fully understand. And, e and even it, me, not get it. Not even me, someone who has soaked up the Odd Future album, mm -hmm. but from afar, watching the way that the Odd Future was touching a nerve with the fan base. Mm -hmm. You know, Wu Tang wasn't always some million seller thing, I, and 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 I don't want to hurt Wu Tang's feelings in what I'm going to describe, but Wu Tang in the beginning was a group that brought out like the the bottom of the barrel for us for a second, and they were a really gritty cult yeah, movement. It was, a, it was an energy that, that was we untapped. never knew was going to birth Method Man or birth something that was going to sell units. Yeah. And me as Flex, I was fine if it never got to that because this was my type of shit. Mm -hmm. And I think the the beginning comparisons was because even though I wasn't on the West, like, look, if back then if I said something on Twitter about Odd Future that wasn't positive, <laughs> like, okay, we're gonna keep it at a thousand, which I've said over, I've said, I've, Nick, you, we're keeping it a thousand money again. A 15 year old's like, I'm gonna I, listen, fuck you in the ass. No, 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 listen, You're gonna I die. didn't say that. I didn't say that. I hate I, you, uh, Flex. What the fuck is no, a flat? Listen, like, I, I did. I'm sorry. I did, I, I, I was vocal, and he knows it, because he don't wanna bring it up, but I'm gonna bring it up. I was vocal about what I felt about Odd Future. Yes, I was, and you know I was. Look, 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 look. But but here's what I'm saying. But you know what? How I noticed how people felt about it. If I did say something on Twitter, when you see those fans come back, because that's how I gauge an artist too. The passion in the fans. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, Flex. You gotta listen to this song, this song, that song, this song. <laughs> but when somebody says that, I do pay attention to that. Oh, yeah. I want to tell you something. You know how you brought up Wu Tang? You probably think me and Wu are the best friends, right? probably think I I don't know I didn't play the record in the beginning I've been on the radio a long time I didn't play it in the beginning <laughs> they're gonna get mad at me they hated my guts and I didn't play it and I used to have this club called the tunnel I used to put 2,000 people on a Sunday in it I played the whole night beautiful no cameras you could do with that, that oh was yeah it was, it was a different vibe oh man but I used to pack my records up and they had a song called Protect Your Neck. And one night, 10 cars circled the block playing it. I, went, I didn't play this record once. I called my man. I called. It was on a little label at the time. I got the record. I got on that radio that Monday. I played it like 15 times in a row. Because I knew when a guy is in his car, he wants to play what makes him feel the best in case he rolls up on a chick. And if that's the song he's picking, I'm not playing it, I'm hurting myself. Mm. So I made sure I got on that record, but 
you know, that's when I that, that I don't want to say cult. I just want to say like touching a fan base. So I did think at some point along the way mm -hmm. you guys were because it was yeah. The, and I was in it like when you're in it, you're not outside looking in, so you can't really gauge even why they were making a comparison. The, I, I couldn't gauge why they were comparing it, but. Now that it was I'm the older it was the sick, energy of the I fan fully base. Understand it. It was like, the energy of uh, energy of the fan base. So we've been trying to get to this freestyle. We're having a good conversation. So I don't have a. This is probably. Gonna well, be I'm video. sorry. I'm using the wrong freestyle. This but, is gonna be one of your best interviews. Wait, Tyler's gonna do something different. I'm probably gonna. Top he doesn't two. have a freestyle. Let's say let's let's leave. Let's move the word freestyle. <laughs> I'm gonna play a track. Juanito's gonna play a track. And Tyler's gonna gauge if he would like to rhyme on it. Is Look, that a good way for this interview? I'll give y'all niggas twenty eight bars. This is a good way to. I just get this is inter this is tight. I can't wait to tweet the link to whatever we just did for the last two hours <laughs> for, for, for people and to just see. watch me tell Flex that we're besties now. <laughs> like we're buddies, dude. We're moving. We're moving. We're we're, we're moving in a you good let direction. Let me give you a hug. Yeah, no, nah, we're I rocking. thought you wasn't gonna let me give you a hug. Yo, yeah, this guy will disarm anything. You gotta send this guy to the White House. He'll change everything. <laughs> He'll change the whole field. And send the wrong people up there. Also, the, <laughs> just send the wrong people. Just the thought, the our future shit. Like, like I didn't like certain comparisons because I was, I was like, no, we're our own thing. You were more aggressive. Now that we are having this conversation, oh, you I, were our future time. He, you were very aggressive. Listen. I was, on that fucking Twitter. I was out of my you were, you were aggressive. mind. You were aggressive. I was actually out of my mind. I, I've I mean, calmed down. <laughs> Don't well, laugh. You, but you, I was You came at a crazy. time, too, where Twitter was super bubbling. Super, super new. Yeah, and so, it was new, so we so, were all so, excited. So, like, so that voice, ah, I had that I voice. I just saw a cat. <laughs> oh, so someone commented. Like, it was so new to us. So, like, and just saying, I mean, but again, back just back to my, like, I wanted it to just know we're our own thing. Cause like LA West Coast rap or whatever, or whatever is dismissive. LA rap, West Coast, uh, everyone. West Coast kinda, hates me by the way. So I thought you was falling in line with that. Oh, ugh, no. Hey, yeah. But Hate West me. Coast shit was so always wanna, uh, known as low riders, a LA hat, gang culture. Correct. That stuff. And it was like, hey correct. guys, no, we we're doing, it, it's a whole other world out there that's not your stereotypical shit. And Correct. I don't need every blah 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 repping L.A. every song. This and that. Like, oh, they you you can't make it unless you come up under Dr. Dre or Snoop Dogg or like. And it's like, no, it's a hundred percent a whole other world out there that you guys. And it hasn't changed. There's a lot of, like outside. And of no you disrespect guys, to them, I still I'm I love some of that shit. I. <laughs> Who's your top five West Coast rappers? That, that, that That's a weird question, and I that this one. Oh, you don't want to start answer. nothing? No, I can't even answer because my favorite shit isn't yeah, one like thing. local like that. Like, it's a few Snoop Dogg songs I like. I fuck with YG, and do I they want do him they to get you? weirder. YG, if you could read, if you could hear this, get weirder because that last album had moments of fucking genius yeah, it on it, where he was diving into concepts and. Pockets and flows he's never done and like very good album. Shit. It was a good album, and it went under the and, radar. And it went be and I I radar. want him to just dive deeper into just getting fucking weirder, going to that unknown place that he was like putting one leg in and then. But Tyler, he was like, nah, I gotta. see, you got to remember, you you have, you know, you have from watching you, you have a few avenues of income. You know, you have a few things you're good at. You know, some artists are sometimes afraid of weird or being different because they want to hit the tour circuit. They want to have, you know. No, yeah, for you sure. You know, they, they, they've, they've, there's their money. Also speaking from a bias of having a, a safety net, but it's a, it's a freedom and a fear of failure I don't have where I'll just jump in head first and. Man, that fucking shout out YG. That nigga had he fuck. Just get weirder. Get weirder. Why don't it's you do a song lit. for him? Oh, I want. I have beats for this nigga. We he texted me the other day, like when you in the studio, but I left. But like, I want to get in with him. Um, anyone else you like to work? Is, you want to, uh, anyone else you want to work with? Oh, I mean, the list goes on. It's too many. And I'm at this weird point where I kind of want to fuck with everyone, just because mm -hmm. like you don't. 
for example, we have had a great two hour conversation and I have new information when I leave out of this building. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have known that if I wouldn't have been like, hey, let's do a flex day. Mm -hmm. Now I have new information and might approach something I do later tonight differently because of this interaction. And it's certain energies that bring different shit out. That's why um, Timbaland and Pharrell and certain people are so good because they wouldn't have made something unless they said, fuck it, no ego, and worked with these people. Correct. And I think that shit like that is important. And I used to be very, like, oh, I don't know if you still hear me. I haven't seen I used you to produce be very, so many people outside of your team. I used to be very, like, I'm not fucking with them. Fuck them. No, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. We don't collab. And then the more I started doing it, the more I was like, oh, man. And it opened my brain up in my vocal phrasing when I write melodies down and watching this guy. It's this guy named Kevin Kendricks. I had him... Uh, helped me uh, with piano stuff on the last album because he was just more inclined with the stuff. And just hanging with him for a day made me a better piano player because mm -hmm. he showed me one stupid trick that just opened my fucking brain up. And if I didn't, if I had that mask, I'm like, I don't fuck with no one, blah, 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 mm -hmm. that wouldn't have happened. And yeah, so I'm at this point where it's like, yeah, I work with, if if I don't think you're fucking trash, there's still a list of people that uh, I would rather get peed on yeah. publicly <laughs> than, than drink it and all types of weird shit than to even be near them. But I'm so much more open now to like, look, worst coming to worst, we make something, it fucking sucks, and it does not come out. You know, you know, you know why I was okay with you coming up today. You think I'm cute? <laughs> um, it's cool. You don't have to answer that. Now. A couple years ago, I made a decision. <laughs> I made a decision that I will no longer judge a new artist. I want to say five years, maybe five. I made a decision that I'm no longer going to judge a new artist by any music that has come out before him. And it it enabled me to have an open mind of. The song came out today. People say they like this guy. I'm gonna try this record in the club. It got a super big reaction. If his record got the biggest reaction of right now, he's the guy right now. That's it. Mm. And it uh, it enabled me to have more fun and in, uh, enjoy playing again. And kind of even with the freestyles, like more people coming up and you know, I got chastised for a long time from my adult older peers. That for, are fucking stuck. That from allowing uh, the younger generation to come up here. And I made that decision based on, you know what? What I consider hip hop when I was 15, it's whatever music made me feel like what I wanted to represent and what made me feel like me. And I will. I, I decided to no longer knock a younger ch person. If he grows up in the pill, weed, hard ticket era, and that's what he talks about, that's what he grew up around. Mm -hmm. So I've learned to have uh, a more of an open mind on young talent Something that has changed for you, and I don't know if you've noticed, is when you came through uh, internet, you still had to have talent to be successful on the internet. Now, 2018, 2019, you can have a gimmick slash popular Instagram page slash and possibly catch a hit record. You know, the game is... Uh, I'm not saying it's bad. I guess it's the way it is. But that part I have not accepted. I feel you 100%. But you have to realize, again, back to your point about your your competitors with uh, radio stuff, all, all, of, all Instagram and those things do is uh, make the awareness more accessible. So meaning if this yeah. was 95... It's so much rat like trash shit that came out, but no one heard it. It never got to the top. You and so and so didn't play it or whatever, and it wasn't in the club. But it was out. Mm -hmm. it was, you could go buy the single, and some of it Jones. sold, but sold quietly. Yeah, like no like one cared. Eight, exact. But now because of this, it's easier to find those equivalents. Mm -hmm. And look, it may 
again, <laughs> it's niggas with 500 million views on YouTube who can't sell a ticket because people like that song. They don't like them. You. They're not invested with them. So where are they gonna be in two years? Mm. It's just, it's no different from a Ed Hardy shirt in 2005. It's very hard <laughs> for a new artist to get a second summer. Very hard. Especially when what's very their hard. intention? If your intention is, I always say it's, uh, it's a few rappers who were fucking fire early 2000s. Niggas be like, what happened? Well, <clears throat> they were doing what you know them for, music, for bitches, cars, blah, 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 these things you could grab. They did that, they ended up getting it, and they lost that drive, which was pushing them to make this unique, unique passion. music or whatever. Lost the passion. For certain artists, at least for me, what I want isn't, I can't grasp it. <laughs> Mm. I want to make good stuff and art that gets me off. Mm. And I want to show my friends and they're like, oh man, this is sick. And and that's nothing, you can't grab that. No. <laughs> and that's always never, that void's never going to be filled. So I'll still be doing this when I'm fucking 80. In some capacity, maybe not music. I might be fucking, I might have a farm and love the way that the, wheat grows or something to try to perfect that but it's you're not going to stray from what you makes you happy and you believe in to be in the popular moment yeah like that's cool and it's some of that shit I like it never lasts though look, I like this and this is what I'm gonna make if I like cinnamon fucking pop tarts but everyone is fucking with strawberry Fam, which is fire which is fire yes and I like not, too. pop tart is fire strawberry you like strawberry strawberry's popping Wow, here you super popping! Like strawberry pop tarts is popping. This is crazy. Yo, I'm in the twilight cold zone. or hot, either way. I'm in the fucking twilight. Pop popping. Do you like? Is it? We gotta wrap this up. No, uh, you yeah. can. No, it's cool. We have to wrap it up. You don't have to lie to me. I'm <laughs> fucking. In <laughs> Just say we gotta wrap it up. Yeah, don't lie to me. We're, we're gonna... oh, how long was this? Nah, we're gonna put out its entirety. We're gonna put it. It's on. so good. We're gonna put it out. We're this is so on. good. We're gonna break you like my knees? Tomorrow. I have all the new tattoos. I mean, wow. I'm scared of that. See, see, when you get my age, you're gonna get scared of shit like that. See, this age, oh, fearless. No, but it's all like it's all like if I would put a regular shirt on the next, it's gone. Know I have tattoos. Okay, that's okay. why I got them there. Like niggas be getting all this shit, and it's like, ugh, nigga, your body gonna be trash when you're 50. Horny. And why I like muscle cars? What's your favorite like, album uh, of ever? all time? Or top three if you can, if it's like criminal minded, careless one. Eric B and Rock Kim paid in full. Uh, uh, Dre's first. It's three. I'm gonna check those out because I've never heard the first two. Um, Just to get a more gauge of you. Uh, a more. If gauge I had to go third. You. I gave you Karis from Criminal Minded. Uh, Eric B and Rock Kim paid in full. I said, the Dre. <laughs> De Dre. I'm missing something. Uh, <clears throat> all right, let me come and set. Uh, I just every EPM, to every EPMD album, album, every EPMD album, every one. Eric Sermon and the nigga with the braids. Yeah, my nigga, some niggas was the epitome of hip hop and street. I like watching you smile. They when you were talk the about shit you epitome. Love. I love that of hardcore. I'm gonna tell you. Weird? I'm gonna tell you the record. Is that a kink? Do I have a new Wait, kink? I'm gonna tell you the record. <laughs> I want you to listen to because I'd love to see your take on it. It's called cool. so What You're Saying. So what you saying by EPMD? Have you met Eric Sermon? Have you ever? Uh, I know that he. I know that nigga got pretty eyes. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Let me tell you something about Eric Sermon. Eric used to call down to the jail and talk to a friend to get whatever was the latest slang word and incorporated in his song the fight before he went in the studio. That's so gutter and street, like to be. That's the equivalent of just being on time. So already, you know how the internet, okay, we know when, when there's a certain meme going around, it's going around, it's in style. But Eric's thinking, let me get the word from there. Be it's going to take six months to get to the street corner, maybe another three to get to the regular niggas, but my album will be out by then. So his slang was already. I always thought that was like. Oh, that's a, crazy. Uh, that's uh, tight. An, an, an amazing story. For me. But those are the. Those are like my, my, my favorite. That's so cool. I kind of got away from the freestyle. I'm sorry, my brother. Let's do it. So there never was a flight. 
Oh, okay. It was. <laughs> it actually was. But I'm still gonna get the fuck out of it if this nigga was on my nerves. <laughs> Yeah, we got a flight to catch. Can we get there early? Mm. I told him twelve o'clock. Oh, midnight. But it's but I am that. He said midnight, and I literally was like, uh, what "Fuck, is he talking about?" <laughs> no, I'm an early. I wake the up early, and I'll be yeah. So I was like, "We got to do earlier." Oh, uh, and I I'll tell you something. When I'm not on the I'm, I'm an early guy myself. Uh, very early to be exact. But um, see, I got kids, so that's a whole other place. So, all right. Every time I go to introduce this, right, he takes me off of my game to get this record on. It's not a freestyle. We're going to play a beat and some bars. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna possibly rhyme if he feels like rhyme. Is that a good way to put it? Yeah. Well, what are you listening to? It is, right? It and I fell, fucking memo. fell for I it. Even... I fucking fell for it. Okay. So now you... Oh, you don't even want... Don't even... Now you ready? Yeah, I'll... Look, I'm giving y'all nine bars. <laughs> y'all just got a three-hour interview. I'm cute as shit. We just let the world know you are a geek, goop, nerd, fuck. <laughs> goop. He said goop. <laughs> goop. Oh, my God. He said goop. All right. Ready? Okay, okay, okay. DJ Juanito's on the set. We're gonna throw this on and get a feel. Let's do it. Ooh. I feel like I didn't hear this beat before. Hey, yo. Hey, it's Tyler. Uh, Wolf Haley. Gap Tooth T. Bucket Hat T. Lemon Head Enzo. Lil Bunny Hop. Ace the Creator. Thurnus Haley. Cybex. <laughs> Beef Loaf. Free Rocky, Free Rock Kim, that's my guy. Um, <clears throat> Ayo, um, Ayo, Free Rock Kim, Free Rock Kim. I might fly too sweet then to free him. Hmm. Okay, I'm freestyle. I said, hey Free Rock Kim, Free Rock Kim. I might fly too sweet then to free him. Braid my wig, ASAP tap on my ribs, switch with him. Then I can fuck all the sweetened men that I wanna. Actually, I'm gonna heat it up real quick, motherfucker. I'm LeBrona. Listen, Flex, we just met, but I know it don't seem like all Kelly wet dreams. I always keep 16s, nigga. Me and Flex looking in the index for buff net niggas just for some hot butt sex. Mm. What? What made you go with that verse? I don't. What, what made you go with that verse? I got a little cousin when I die, he'll probably take my estate. I always tell him being self and I always strive to be great. Mm. No. Hmm. My mama a dealer, her son crack, nigga. What's that, nigga? Facts, nigga. Hmm. Why when they mention black businesses, they never mention me, dog? I don't know. Please see me. Cause if they talk at M's, golf did 17 and 18, motherfucker. And that's just one season, huh? Stocks that I own. How much stocks do I own? All of it, the whole bird. That's my broth in the bowl, nigga. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Give me a topic, Flex. I can't hear you. Cars. Vroom, vroom, zoom, zoom. Sweeping niggas inching like a broom, broom. Yeah, yeah, man, you know what it is. Don't even look at my engine, bitch. You can't afford this. That's that motherfucking McLaren. It's 500 made. Got the fucking window tinted because I needed the shade. And that E30 Beamer that you ain't seen since you was a Tina back in 91 when they was doing EMP and D at the arena. Macarena, Haina, Jaina, Shada, Raider, Ada, 
I'm back from LA with Mexicans, they love the Raiders, but I don't watch football. I just watch the Crooks ball with them fucking eight balls, selling it inside the hall of the high school. I was not cool. Niggas thought that I was weird and shit. They kept they space, but it's cool, cause now I got they amazing grace, nigga. How many M's? It don't matter how much I make. Just know what it is when you see face the gap tooth, nigga. The big is and them shoes you ain't seen yet. And yes, if you like them, nigga, I did design it, nigga. How many figures Converse give me for that? Well, I don't know, but out in Bel Air, I just copped a new flat and the flat top on the top of the hat, the one with the G. The store did a couple M's this week. Stop talking to me, dog. Niggas playing around. This is right off the top. This is right off the cock. Me and Flex gonna go round the block and he gonna get. <laughs> He always slips something that's a little, a little aggressive, right? A little aggressive. He always gets something that's a little aggressive. Where you where it makes your ear and your eyebrows go up. Uh, okay. Um, listen. They bringing up my past. I don't hide it. Gobbling out now, bitch. Buy it. Looking for them tweets, bitch. Find it. The cancel couch is fake, and I recline it. Man, I just don't know. Niggas try to come for me, dog. They confidence slow, dog. What's going on? I don't got much else to say, so I'ma end this shit. Cause I got a little date with this dude real quick. We gonna go probably get some ice cream and do, oh, wait a minute. He just got off his damn last shift and he said that his mama can't do the dishes. So he gotta go help her. So I'ma go and weep and go look for someone on Yelp. But that's not a dating gap. So what you use, Tinder, Grinder, get with all your niggas and get right behind them. What you gonna do me like your DM and slide them? Hmm. Flexing me emoji. No, there was no emoji. I ain't sending emoji. Wait a minute. Now, Flex, why are you lying? Why are you trying to play me like change in 50 Cent when he was dying trying just to get it, get it? I split it, I read it, hit it, and did it. You in it, did it. Mwah, I kiss it, nigga. Scooby Dooby, Ooby the Looby. Me and Flex was cuddled up watching Scooby Doo eating Scooby snacks. He said he wanted my boobies. I said, I don't got him. He said, whatever, oh, nigga, God. I rock him. We sock a bock him. I can rock him. Talk a dock him. He don't eat pork. I thought this nigga was a salam alaikum. Y'all niggas crazy when he called me. I was at the lake, bruh. Be clear. And Tahoe, I know, nigga, that's how I go. Ego, 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 niggas worshiping ego. Niggas be worshiping, they fucking hands is kissing and they knees sore. Uh. Free rock him, free rock him, and I'm screaming that until they free him. Be clear. Be clear, whatever, whatever, whatever I gotta do, I go get the cheddar, and I don't even like pizza, but whatever, more the better, nigga. My ex bitch is wet, nigga. Nah, she dry as fuck, she like the canyon. My niggas in Laurel Canyon. Ooh. All these white kids, they got the fandom. Ex is gonna look at his Think that I'm funny because I'm random. We could be together like a tandem. Man, it's weird as fuck. I keep flirting with Flex and he ain't trying to fuck. Now I'm confused, I'ma leave. I just think that he hate me. I thought I came here so he date me. He talking about a freestyle, ugh, nigga, fuck rap. Fuck that, I was trying to take him back and take off that hat. We could be like, wah, wah, wah on the lips. But that's weird as fuck, man. Pause! I'm talking about dick. Pause! Pause, pause, nigga, pause, pause. pause. When we leave, you gonna give me your info so I call. Say, link when you back in New York. I'm I'm trying to give away a bike. Maybe yeah. we should get some dinner at night, nigga. Chows, Mr. Chows. Fucking lying. Mr. Chows. <laughs> Mr. Chows, we there. Look, man, say less, say less, say less, say less. It's your boy T, man. All my niggas vegan. No, that's fucking weird, though. They be eating meat, though. But I don't mean it in the pause way. I mean no homo. Glitter on my nails, glitter on my neck, niggas bitter as hell, they shit don't sell, I'm doing so well, man they really hate to see me win, especially cause the gap tooth and I'm dark skinned, but my shit clearer than that ball from Space Jam, I'm that man, I'm that man, see them diamonds on my hand, why am I talking material shit, I don't even care, but I'm just freestyling this bitch, man. Niggas, they mad, they look. Y'all crooks, me and Jay was just talking about books. I'm gonna probably build a building in the next two years. You wanna come? Sounds nah, good. Flex, you wanna come? <laughs> Pause, he baited Flex, before. trying to come. He baited before, right? He uh, baited before. I didn't see that when he called me off guard. He got me. He got me. <laughs>
You know what it is. Tyler the Creator, Funk Flex. I appreciate the time. I spent, really bro. just freestyled. Like just off the It's tough. I like that. I, I wish you it. thought more, just gave out more topics, but you was just Yeah, and that, not cause was was clean. And you showed me a couple of mean toys you got there. Come on. Let's get one of the toys. I know you're on the road. I do this like yeah. I drive. <laughs> This ain't no like I don't get these cars like I'm rapping. This is my No, I beat on cars. I drive yeah, I drive I, I fuck my cars up. I beat. I beat on them too. I beat on them too. Pause. 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 pause, pause, pause. Wow, pause. But I, but, I, but I I do that too. You know, oh I don't I have no say, trailer queen. Me and Rocky were we did not like each other. Oh, in the beginning when you first yeah, met? Yeah, when we we were not friend like it was weird beef, OF, ASAP shit. And it's so crazy, like that's my fucking. You kind of, you kind of, you kind of grew at the same time, right? Like I felt like they yeah, were yeah. over here, you were, you guys were over there. It was there. like same time and shit. Rocky, and Rocky won't probably bring it up, but they didn't dig me too much. Cause he I, probably, Rocky cause, would probably bring it up. No, a, I, me and Rocky have talked about it because I was, <laughs> I was always a big supporter of Dipset, and I oh. didn't kind of. It took me a long time to understand ASAP Mob. Yeah. Took me a long time. And look, I get it. I you're was slow a, on the. You're from I was a slow. different time. I was slow. So like, but when I but caught you up, took that mask off and started opening up. And they like, came up here once, and the freestyle was so mean. I was like, well, nah, these boys. It made me go and. Nah, down. those are my guy. I love those. It's so crazy. You don't like people. And I'm sorry, man. Sorry, Straws. You're like he's not playing in the groups from New York. What the fuck? Flex? I gotta. I, next time I come here, I know, I, I'm gonna I, come I with the written verse. Because I come from when growing up, I watched. I was watching Eight Mile. I was listening to March. So like, I was under the impression of freestyle was like off the top. Well, of you're your right. Fucking head. Now listen, that was only niggas was spitting written, and I'm like, mm, you written can't call this written so didn't come into play until oh five oh yeah, six. Like prior to that, when Locks used to come up here, KRS One. Uh, I don't even want to uh, uh, forget anybody. Jay, uh, like I was those always G Unit, G -Unit. So, and that's those the shit all... that I was like. So that's when you say freestyle. Common, like, Common is a very good off the top. I come off the top, and that's what I would do in school and stuff. So like, I don't even know how to, which is very simple. This is me being extra now, but I don't know how to approach coming with a verse that's already written. That's obviously, people. he killed that, duh. He spent a fucking month on writing it to make sure that y'all say he killed it, but it wasn't a natural on spot skill. Correct. That, and I'm not knocking that. Some, of the, about battle, some you know? of the best writers can't just come up with shit on the fly. Like, so. I Which is what I like about, is it URL? Yeah. You know, what's dope about URL is, I can tell they they have a piece of their sections prepared, but outside of that, when you gotta address a guy on what he said prior. Yeah, I love that. When you see I that would, creativity, yes. that's why that there's that energy in URL. In seventh grade, I went to La Tierra uh, Middle School and I was Spitfire shirt. I had the silver like fucking stud rocker belts and vans and a black trucker hat. Niggas thought I was weird. It was all niggas there. And they all thought I was weird until I battled this kid named Joey Piku, the you rapper at the today. school. You yes. remember today. And I beat him in this rap little battle thing. And they started to respect me because he was just spitting. And because I will watch A Mile and all this stuff, and I was very observant and witty, I knew, I instantly knew how to get on shit that was present. On him. So the viewers was, I mean, so everyone that was watching the audience was like, oh shit, he got, and like, that's which how is I a hard, Which is a hard thing to do. I gained Not certain easy. people's respect with that. And it was like, I'll never forget that. Joey Piku, if you out there, hey. Yeah, he just bodied you again. <laughs> no, no, Let no. everybody know who you are. It was really cool. Then we would show each other like the little raps we was writing. We were fucking 12 this was 2003 did he ever bring up uh, that that you hammered him oh yeah we would always joke about it he was a good sport about it pause, he didn't want to beat me up pause 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 again there's a lot of pauses in here today it you is know. you're bleeding Why, oh my god oh my god oh it's oh. light it's light oh no oh shit he took me off the pause Right? Y'all weather fucking. is trash. I know we about to end, but New York weather is fucking trash. Well, it's like a hundred and some degrees out there, bro. And this, what? what? Why? Uh, it's listen. Again, so I'm from Los Angeles. Snow. You don't get snow out there, nigga. I was in snow for my first time. You're, when I you're was in like LA. 21. You, 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 you know, where, where, where were you in another city? <laughs> yeah, I live city. No, you were in another city when you saw the snow. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't in LA. Ugh, nigga, I was in uh, we was in 
like we was in Colorado or somewhere random. With like, the it, with the weed, like you don't, so you don't, I don't smoke. You don't smoke. So that that's not affecting you at all in L.A. You could care less. Legal, yeah, not legal. Yeah, I don't. You can care. What's I, the question? I have friends. Drink that anything? Those. Like I've never been drunk. Never had alcohol. I've smoked twice. Had a weed brownie once. I bet you're not gonna believe me. You probably think I smoke. You, I've never smoked. I've never Ever? had cocaine. I could say it because I'm not even worried about anybody even coming back and saying it. Uh, I've been drunk once or twice, but I've never smoked. I've never had cocaine. I've never no drugs ever in my life. You know, how I, I I actually believe that it's how articulate you are. You're very articulate, and you know what you like and don't like. And Absolutely. a lot of people rub they they see that rub that rubs people the wrong way when it's someone that's like, bro, I don't care who you are. I don't like that. But you're co like you're very vocal and open and articulate. I think that's really important. A lot of people don't have that. Well, to to me, to survive in the game now, you got it. You, you know, what you like, what you like, what you don't like. You know, it's not generic ain't, ain't flying no more. <gasps> Are we going to take a photo? Well, yeah, I was going to get my camera ready. Why well, should I not? No, no, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're, uh, hey, so how do you sign off? What camera would it sign off at? Uh, anyone. <laughs> hey, signing off. Uh, I have nothing cool to say. Say something cool with me. Okay, we're, 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 we're happy and we're seeing. Wait, no, okay. this is my bestie right here. This is my guy right here, right? Pause, pause. Pause, pause. pause. This is my guy, right? <laughs> you see us. We have you out here in these streets. We're in a good place now. We understand each other. Yeah, you want to see my waistline? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid.